So USS NHTSA has really been preparing for this deployment since uh, April of 2021 when she came out of the shipyard. Uh, she participated in a 21-week basic phase, uh, followed by uh, uh, several intermediate and advanced certification events to include uh, surface warfare, uh, advanced tactical training, um, a task force exercise, and a comp to x with uh, our strike group. So really it's been well over a year in the making uh, and the ship is absolutely trained and ready to deploy. So the, uh, the, to, in, to deploy independently, the ship is prepared to operate uh, across 24 different mission areas, either independently or as part of a strike group. Uh, NHTSA was selected to deploy uh, separately from uh, strike group 10. So we'll be operating uh, over in 5th Fleet uh, Air Responsibility, working for task, uh, task Force 55 and Commodore Francis um, as a unit ready for tasking. Uh, but we really are able to integrate uh, at, at any level uh, and the ship is prepared to do so. So for the, to the family, friends, and the members of the local community, I will tell you that the uh, you know, ship uh, or uh, service implies sacrifice, and we're incredibly grateful for all the, uh, the work and support that both the sailors uh, get and receive from the home. It really can't be done uh, without, uh, without the support of their families and loved ones. Uh, you know, when you look at your orders uh, to U.S. Navy ship, it is, it's characterized as arduous sea duty, uh, and it is that. Like, it's incredibly uh, uh, emotionally and physically taxing, but it's also a very meaningful and purposeful uh, career, and, and we're grateful for that. So to the friends and family, uh, thank you for your support to allow your sailors, uh, chiefs and officers to serve on a warship and wear the cloth of their country, and, and I'm, I'm grateful for that.